Okay, so get back to this. How do you actually prepare the buffer? So for example, here I say, can you actually design a buffer or can you prepare a buffer with pH of 4.6? The way you prepare a buffer is why you first need to actually create a situation that you have your conjugated acid and base pair, right? So if you look at this HH equation more carefully, if you add in the same amount of HA and A minus, then the second term will be negative log one. Then your pH will purely determine by the pKa of your substance. So the first thing you do is actually, okay, that is your target pH, right? So you want to find a system has a pKa that's very close to your pH. So if you look at the table you have, okay, you want to find a thing that's close to 4.6. Probably this guy will be actually your choice. Right, the acidic acid with pKa of 4.75. Let me pull this up a little bit more for you. So you can see the pKa of acidic acid is 4.75, right? So you start from there. Therefore, you know, pick up the conjugated acid base pair based on their pKa, right? So we know we want to pick HCOOH and the HCOO minus. Typically, the source of HCOO minus were coming from the salt, okay? So typically the things you are going to buy is something like this. The conjugate base with 1A group type of salt. Okay, then you can just control the concentration of this very well. And then you just add in substantial amount, okay? You can add in one more, two more, three more, it doesn't really matter, okay? As long as your conjugated S base pair, they are the same concentration, then the second term will not affect your pH. So once you prepare that, okay, you are going to have a solution with a pH of 4.75. So it's higher than your target pH, 4.6, right? So what do you do afterward? What would you do? How can you actually decrease? the pH of a solution. Yes, you add in strong acid. Okay, you add in high concentration strong acid. So that you will tune your pH just a little bit. Okay, so this is actually by adding in either strong acid or strong base. So it is less simple. Okay, so when you prepare the buffer solution inside the laboratory, okay, it's really like you check out the PKA table, you identify what species you want to use, you throw in tons of land into your water, then you finalize the pH by adding in your uh, strong acid for strong base. One important term that you need to know from here is actually so-called the buffer capacity. Remember, that's actually one criteria we say the buffer must have is actually your conjugated acid base need to be in a large amount, right? Because only when you have a large amount of this conjugated acid base, they can actually start to interact with your strong acid base to minimize the change of your pH. If today you only have like very small amount of the conjugated acid base inside your solution, then it can only handle a very small amount of strong acid or strong base added into your solution. The buffer capacity is basically going to indicate the amount of your conjugated acid base. Okay, you want to have really, really high concentration of your conjugated acid and base pair inside your solution.